How's it going, everybody? This is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, coming to you with another episode of Tiny Home Tuesday, where every Tuesday I showcase a particular park model tiny home coming in at 399 square feet that we have available here at Recreational Resort Cottages. And this Tuesday, I'm bringing to you the Platinum Coyote. If you happen to work from home or even happen to be practicing for the culinary arts, look no further than the Platinum Coyote. A lot of you have asked Mr. Tiny for a larger kitchen space in your tiny home. Well, I delivered this week. But keep in mind, when you go 399 square feet, you add a little bit more of this, you lose a little less of everything else. So what we've chose to do, we've added more kitchen space, so you're going to lose a little bit of the living space. But for those who are going to spend most of their time outside anyways, this is a great floor plan for you. And what we like to do here is keep it in a cabin style in recreational resort cottages. One of our most popular styles. I've brought you a lot of contemporary styling these last few weeks, so we took it back to the cabin style. So as you see this Platinum Coyote, it is 11 foot wide, 44 feet in length, including the 8 foot front porch and it is on sale, as you see it today, for $64,000. This model is discounted because I'm sending the savings to you right now for the Platinum Coyote. If you choose a special order, you can make some changes to it. Make the bar not as enlarged. You can take that back a little bit, but as you see it right now, it's $64K today. So we'll start right here in the living area. And as you can see, we've got the space over here that you can mount a TV, do a flat screen right there, and then we've added the blue ponderosa pine chair rail throughout the home. You can see that there. And then as well, we've got the stained Encore trim, which is southern yellow pine stained in an Encore finish around your baseboards, windows, and doors throughout the home. You can see a lot of natural light coming in from the front two windows, and then we've even added the trapezoid windows up top. So not only adding to the curb appeal upon entry, but also adding more natural light. You understand that is key in a tiny home. And also, same reason we've added the clear story windows up top from front to back. That also makes great for ventilation in the summertime. You just pop a couple of those open, and hey, your tiny home is getting ventilated from front to back. And then, as you can see, we've even got the blue ponderosa pine ceiling from front to back of this home. That is awesome. You can see even the little blue tints. That's why we call it Blue Ponderosa. And then this floor plan, what makes it famous is, again, I told you for practicing for the culinary arts, this is the place to do it at, is on this elongated and extended bar here. And you can see there's even space on the side for stools. And it's easy if you want, if you work from home, you can Get your little setup right here, have your laptop posted up, and you can sit there and get some work done and be good to go. We even added the blue ponderosa pine accent going around here as well. And then this HD laminate looks so lovely with that gloss and finish to it as well. And then as you can see, it just wraps around here. So if you're sitting here, you can do everything you need to. You've got storage space and cabinets all around with the three drawers located right there. We've also got your stainless steel sink your window right up above, and we chose to go with the stainless steel appliances. So these are electric, but if you choose a special order, we can convert it to gas, and I believe this model is even prepped for gas. So if you wanna change out this electric stove once you get it to your property, you can do so. We've also got additional storage going up top, and then it just makes nice decor spaces, as you can see here that we've done. And you can take it on back, and again, storage space. We added a six door pantry, here as well for you right in the hallway. So you can sit there, you can either tuck your linens in here, you can put canned goods, your groceries in here, whatever you like, the choice is yours. Again, Mr. Tiny is what? Pet friendly. You see, we do that in a lot of our homes. What are we done here in the Coyote? The name suits itself. So you can see here, we even got an additional space right here. This makes great for if you wanna put your kitty litter down there with your, with your little box, you can have that filled up. 
You can have a little sleep bed for your dog, whatever you need. Or again, if you don't have any pets, it can be a nice storage space for you, out of sight, out of mind. Throw your, throw your slippers in there if you want to. And then right across, you'll see we come into the bathroom. Another thing that you guys have been asking me for is a tub in a tiny home. So that's what you've got today is a tub shower combo, as you can see right here in the tiny home. And the reason is most showers are going to be standard 48 inches. Most tubs that we provide are going to be 52 inches. So with that being said, again, same scenario with the kitchen. If you add a little bit more space, you lose space elsewhere. So that's why it's very rare that you see a tub, but we can do it depending on the floor plan. You're just going to lose a little bit of space elsewhere. Sometimes storage is what you lose. But as you can see right here, we've got the wraparound counter in your bathroom. We've got the frosted glass window right there and then additional storage. And then you've got your linen cabinet over your toilet here. And then of course, everything's closed off by the solid Southern Yellow Pine pocket doors. You've got the space for your stackable washer and dryer right over here in the hallway. Again, tucked into the back of the home. And then right here, coming into the master, another pocket door. Then you come on in, and we've even got another little accent here for you. We kept that blue ponderosa pine theme going, and we've added your built-in headboard. So all you got to do is throw your mattress uh, set up in here, and you're good to go. Got the window right off the back. We've got the built-in four-drawer dresser right here in the middle. And then you've got space up top that you can put uh, another TV. For those of you that don't like to watch TV in the bed, you can have some shelving here. I've seen some clients do that. Makes awesome decor space. And then we've got the bifold doors, again, stained encore to match. And then as you can see, you've got the real wood shelves and rods in your closet. So you can close that back up. And then we'll take it right out. Now, as you can see again, see how this just opens up when you come through the front. And guys, I know this is called the Platinum Coyote, so we gave you the Coyote Ugly Bar. So all for, for all your entertainment purposes, you got the Coyote Ugly Bar right here for you guys to have a little fun. But enough with that, we're going to take it out to the 8-foot front porch and show you how much space that you have out here. You come on out, and as you can see, You've got the composite Trex decking. That's what we do here. Uh, the 30 year warranty on your decking. We went with the cedar stained rails. We've got the James Hardy board siding with the 30 year warranty and uh, the stain to match. And then we've got your exterior ceiling fan, crow's foot beams, everything so beautiful from the exterior of this home. And you follow me right back in. And as you can see, it's a cabin on the outside and we bring it right back inside. But I know you're looking at that space upstairs. So let's go up there and check out the loft and see how much space that you get in the Platinum Coyote. But before I do so, for those of you that's new to the channel, you might not know that we always put the drawers in the stairs. That's an option we love to have. And as you can see, it almost blends in. It's like camouflage. And it's a cool feature to show your guests when they come over. You say, hey, man, I'm in a tiny home. We got cool things like that. But you guys follow me on up, and I'll show you the loft. Now I'm in the loft of the Platinum Coyote. And before you commenters go out there and get to go, why is this guy that's over six foot about to hit his head in this loft space? Again, this is a recreational vehicle. It's 399 square feet. If we were to raise this, this counts as square footage. So guess what? We're trying to prevent any property tax in the future. So depending on your area, you could be subject to no property tax because this roof is lowered. So with that being said, that's why it is as such. But as you can see here, there's an elevated area here on the back side of the loft. This is great for throwing, you know, a mattress or two up here and have a designated sleep area. And then it lowers as you can get to the front. And that is a great space to make a common area, kind of a chill space. You can have a few bean bags there, whatever you want, small desk, you can make that happen as well. And then we've got uh, already the TV jacks and outlets here. So you can plug in TVs, game systems, whatever you need. And guys, you can see we got the nice accent here in the back. Just, you know, we like to add aesthetically pleasing features to our cottages here at Recreational Resort Cottages. In the Platinum Coyote, we did not show or stop anything from taking place in this one. We've added all the bells and whistles 
and you're getting it at a great price of $64,000. So again, for the statistics on this home, it is 11 foot wide, 44 feet in length, including that eight foot front porch that I showed you a second ago. And this home is on sale as I speak for $64,000 to the first person that contacts me. We have been, since I've been discounting these homes these last few weeks, as soon as the video posts, usually the day after or even sometimes that night, we're getting emails and messages and they're selling like this. So let this one be another one that you guys snag up for those in the market right now and this is fits in your price range. Again, this is the Platinum Coyote. And remember to comment, like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I want to thank you for tuning in to another Tiny Home Tuesday with me, Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons. Remember to contact me on Instagram at the Mr. Tiny. That's where I'm connecting with everyone directly. I'm answering all your direct messages, all your comments, anything that you send my way, just contact me, give me a follow, and I would love to assist. And remember to see me next Tiny Home Tuesday.